I've been working in Africa for over 25 years, and you know, Tolo started off here. Um, and you know, what still surprises me uh, when I wander around the world is how few people look at Africa as a place to invest. You know, most people look at Africa as a place for aid. And, you know, Africa needs investment, not, not, not aid. You, you look at Ghana. Ghana has been, you know, one of the best economies in the world in the last um, few years. And, and people need to know that. They need to know that this is a continent that is ideal for investment. At the very start, when I say the enthusiasm the football club has for this project is, I hope, uh, of a measure that you'll appreciate. Uh, we are here to make a big, big difference. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of history about our football club. It was founded in 1879. It was founded by five school teachers. Five school teachers who wanted to improve the lives of young people in Sunderland. They wanted to harness football as the measure to, be to get well-being and better life aspirations for uh, the people of Sunderland at that time. Uh, here we are, 130-something years later, 33 years later, and as a football club, we're sticking very much to our ethos and our message that started all those years ago. Uh, we live in a very different world now, of course, and the commercialism of the Premier League can be astounding. But if we can still hang on to our values as a football club and harness that powerful tool that is the Premier League and the billions of people around the world who watch it, if we can stay true to our early ethos and become uh, more than just a, a commercial activity that's happening here, if we can leave great footprints on the ground here, if we can use the power of football to improve well-being, improve people's aspirations, improve education, and we also get that message out there that Africa is ready, it's Africa's time, then we are going to give this every single attention that we can. Today, we are launching the Invest in Africa initiative. Through this innovative, exciting, and groundbreaking initiative, Talo is encouraging other international businesses to take a much closer look at Africa and exploit the vast range of untapped opportunities that exist here. And while we are delighted to be at the forefront of the initiative, let me emphasize that it is not just about Talo or the oil industry. The idea is for us to stand shoulder to shoulder with a number of international companies, local businesses, investment authorities, and ministries of trade and industry to work together to build stable and investment-friendly environments that allow businesses to grow across Africa. Well, the goals, the goals are to, to bring business into the continent. You know, the, the, this is one of the great uh, last places for investment. Like, there's huge opportunities here, uh, but people need to, to know that. And, um, you know, this Invest in Africa thing, as I say, is get that message up there that Africa is open for business, but also then to help companies to meet other companies in Europe, uh, to have business-to-business -business events in Europe and bring it under that umbrella. So literally get people thinking about it. Do you have goals? Do you, are, you going, are you going to quantify it? Yeah, I think this is something that will grow and uh, we will help it grow because we are a major uh, investor in Africa. And the problem with a lot of top initiatives is they, they start off with a big bang, loads of publicity, and then they die of death. Um, but you know, this is something that's going to be up there uh, in people's faces all their time. And you know, we'll be promoting it. Uh, other companies will be joining us uh, and we'll announce those over the, over the coming months. So it's, and it's an initiative that can build and it's what the continent needs. We approached Tullo to uh, explore ways of, of maybe uh, assisting Tullo and indeed African businesses through the power of uh, the Premier League and indeed the, uh, the, the phenomenon that the Premier League is, you know, that we, we're shown in, in, in TV is to 4.7 billion people every weekend and um, we were trying to find a way that would uh, get a great message, a great ethos and a message coming out of Africa 
uh, that we could be the first premiership club that came into Africa and got the great messages that need to be brought around the world, i.e. that Africa is open for business and that Africa is booming and, and that people's perceptions in the past of how Africa is performing, they need to look again and, and using us as that powerful tool uh, to, to show the world and give the world that message uh, seemed a natural fit between both companies and, and then if you can add on top of that what, what we do and how we're different as a football club, uh, the community support that we uh, roll out within our own region back in England and um, our, our ability to make that an international concept and for that to come to Africa and to, to assist on the ground with uh, the various uh, businesses that will back this initiative, uh, it's just a win-win for everybody. It's not about the oil industry per se, it's about trying to encourage others from other sectors uh, of the economy, uh, other international companies with interest in, in other areas uh, uh, to, to, to join us and, uh, and, and hopefully we'll succeed.